Hello everyone, this is Joan from KenHub. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on a continuation of the bones of the hand and this time we're going to talk specifically in a little bit in more detail on the bones of your fingers, the phalanges. And keep in mind that phalanges is plural for phalanx, so the singular form is phalanx. And a phalanx is one of these bones that you see here and combined they are known as phalanges. Now keep in mind in terms of direction we're looking at the palmar also known as the volar side of the hand and for that matter notice that you have here the radius located laterally and the ulna that is located medially. And for that matter you notice that the radius is located in the same direction as the thumb going all the way to the medial portion where you see the middle finger, the little finger, sorry, located medially. Now, the phalanges then are the actual bones that define your fingers, going from your thumb, your index finger, your middle finger, annular or ring finger, and your little finger. Now, keep in mind that all your fingers have one, two, three phalanges, except your thumb. Notice that your thumb only has one, two phalanges. And for a regular finger other than the thumb, you would say that there is a proximal phalanx, a middle phalanx, and a distal phalanx. Now on the thumb, because you only have two, then you would say that you have a proximal phalanx and a distal phalanx. In a clinical setting, when you have to report fractures of phalanges, or also in an educational setting where you have to just talk about a specific type of phalanx, what you do is you number them according to the position of the finger. So you will number the phalanges that are found on the thumb, the first, the ones found on the index finger, the second, then the ones found on the middle finger, the third, the ones on the ring finger then will be the fourth, and finally the ones on the little finger would be then the fifth phalanges. Now after that, what you would say is that if you're looking at this one here, the proximal ph phalanx of the index finger, then you would say this is the second proximal phalanx. Now let's start by looking at the proximal phalanges. And as you can see, all the fingers have one proximal phalanx. And what you need to know is that on the Palmer view, this video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.